Hey everybody, we are about to go live in just a moment with our video for working out. This is Mac. Well, Hi. this is actually Ken's, but we call her Mac on our YouTube channel because those are her initials. Yeah. Mackenzie Ann Cleaver. Um, plus, Mom and Mac just sounded better than Mom and Ken's. So, uh, hey, Jenny. Grab your peeps. We're going to take wait a few minutes. It's almost 4.30. Not quite there just yet, but we want to give everybody a chance to log join. on yeah, and join. And, I, of course, I need to get my hairs up. Um, so the only thing that kind of sucks about this is we can't really use music because of, um, copyright. yeah, copyright issues. So there will be no music, which that's okay. We can work around that. Um, I'm going to grab my tennis shoes. Wait there. Okay. So this is, um, this is my gym. I'm going to show you guys around really quickly just so you guys can see. Uh, we got a little bit of everything. We have a squat rack, one of the spin bikes, mm -hmm. one daughter. Uh, some dumbbells and things like that. So today the workout is going to be short, sweet, 20 minutes. Mackenzie's going to actually run you through a um, core workout, core meaning abs, so not total core. And then um, actually I'm going to start warming you guys up, warming all of us up I should say. And then we're going to get right into it. I'm going to do some Tabatas today. No equipment required, but those of you that have some stuff at home, jump ropes, dumbbells, any kind of weights, anything that you, um, you know, want to bring to the party, let us know. We will start doing these videos. Uh, I'm thinking maybe daily. Yeah. Just, just until this dies down a little bit. Um, I think it's important for us to keep, you know, moving on with our lives. I also think it's really important for us to be active this time. It's easy to just, uh, you know, sit around Netflix and show. Um, and eat cookies, which we're gonna do that too, but I also think that there needs to be some sort of balance. Um, we're trying to keep the kids on somewhat of a schedule. I think most moms and dads are doing that right now with having them do schoolwork at home. And, oh, sorry, Lisa. <laughs> save it for later. Yes, save it for later. Um, so, uh, initially I was hoping to have some people over. Um, we are on at least an acre of land here, so um, you know we have lots of space to run and get moving. But I don't know if that's really going to be, you know, happening right now. Things are kind of like up in the air. But for the most part, we want to just continue on with our lives and continue to be healthy. Um, continue to get dressed in the morning, put makeup on in the morning, uh, just to give you some sense of normalcy. And try to remember that, uh, you know, we would be doing the same thing if this was a really big snowstorm. Not trying to minimize the situation. Just trying to say that um, this is unique. We've never really had anything like this ever happen in our lifetime for sure. Yeah. So, um, you know, we're all, I think, trying to figure it out. Um, I think that's all I'm going to say about that. I don't really want to get on a soapbox or anything. I just think it's important that we try to still take care of ourselves mentally, physically, um, and educationally. So, you know, watching some videos or things that are going to uh, enlighten you to, uh, you know, learn a little bit while we're, you know. On this long break. On this forced mind. staycation. Yeah. Okay, so we ready? All right, you guys ready at home? Yes? Say yes. Say you're ready. It's going to be like every other class that I teach. You guys, there's... Yeah, has to be. Ready. Okay, they're ready. Okay. Hold on, let me make some space real quick. So. All right. We're ready. We're ready. Okay. Put it down. All right, so we're just going to go through a simple little warm-up. So to start, and have you guys lift your arms up over your head. We're going to take 10 air squats here. So... Big breath in, squat down, and lift back up. Sit back into your heels. So you want all the way back into your booty, your heels, like you're sitting into uh, a preschooler size chair. Get that depth. Make sure you are pushing your knees out wide. You don't have to stop at 90 degrees. You can go past that. That's a deep squat. Uh, stopping at 90 degrees is not really recommended, honestly, unless you have some sort of an injury that prevents you. Are you counting? Mm -hmm. What are we at? Was that kind of, I think. <laughs> oh, she's not really counting. Okay, we're going to do some arm swings. So just getting some movement into our major joints first. Your warm-up just needs to do exactly that, warm you up. It doesn't need to be crazy, but it does need to happen. There's nothing worse than uh, people that just come into the gym and start lifting weights. Like, you've got to warm your body up, prepare it for what's coming ahead. Okay, um, next thing we're going to do 
is just some little arm circles forward. So you'll do about 10 forward. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like Jane Fonda. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Um, nine, <laughs> um, ten. Next thing we're gonna do is a leg cradle. So we're just gonna hold one foot, one, two, and release. Other side, one, two, release. So we're just gonna do this about five times on each leg. So that's two and three. I always find when I do this stretch, uh, really weird parts of my body that are tight. So like right around the outer knees, um, feels kind of funky when I do this one. Um, we're gonna do some inchworms, so you're gonna step back. Okay, so you're gonna come roll down. We're gonna walk it out, one, two, three, four. We're gonna add a push up here just to get things going. Walk it back, one, two, three, four. Roll up, give me one squat. We'll do that again, okay? So come down, walk it out. Four, three, two, one, one push up. Tricep variety is my personal favorite. Walk it back, we're gonna do this three more times, okay? Make sure your feet are a little bit under your hips, maybe slightly wider. One, two, three, four, down and up. Walk it back in, belly strong, try not to rock and roll too much. One push up, and I think we got one more, do we have two more? Two more. Two more, okay, here we go, two more. So your warm up exercises should pretty much cover the entire body, right? You wanna get everything yeah. to come into the party. Last one, so these push ups, your planks, your squats, that, my friends, works your core. Okay. And sync with your hands. Totally. All right, <laughs> 10 jumping jacks, please. My knees move off the top of the Four, five, six. Keep your knees a little soft. Make sure you land on the heels. Nine, ten. And we're gonna do some high knees. <sighs> okay. So we're gonna get ready to move through just uh, a little bit of work. Do you remember what you're doing for um, your portion? Um, you gotta be prepared, baby. Yeah. Okay. What are you doing? So okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do just a couple little things to um, make sure that we're covering the whole body. So we should be pretty warmed up. I mean, it's not like a crazy warm up, but it's just enough to kind of get you guys blood pumping, body ready. Um, let's do. Actually, let's go ahead. Mackenzie's gonna run through some ab routines today, so I'm gonna give her the the wheel and let her tell us what to do. You don't need to look at that. Okay. The first exercise is what? A boat row. So just okay. So she's gonna demo, I'll talk a little through it. Hold on, can you guys see what she is doing? Why don't you turn on the side? Okay, so how many? Um, um, 15, three times. Okay, so, so that's, that's, tell them. We're doing three sets of 15 foot rows and everything else. Okay, so I'm gonna join her. Okay, you gonna tell them what we're doing. So, a boat row is what? Is this? No. Are we doing yeah, this? You put your arms out like this. Okay. And you lift your legs up like that. Okay. What about what's happening in your back right now? It has to be straight. Back up. needs like to be you're, straight. Like you're really proud. Like you just won an award and you're like, yes. Yeah. So she said you got to keep your back straight, your chest really proud like you just won an award. And then we're going to kick out and in. Yeah. 15. Whew. Three. I don't like to do anything over like eight. What many? What number are you on? 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. What's next? Um, some toe touches. Oh, I don't want to lay on the floor for this one. I can't be messing up my white tank top. Okay, so she's going to be doing some toe touches, so I'm going to talk you guys through it just so that you guys can see what she's doing and be sure to know what she's doing. Here, aren't you on this? This? Yeah. Okay. It'll hurt. It, sometimes if you're just starting and you don't have like a talk block, to the camera, then it's like the back of your back kind of, part of your back starts to hurt, but it's just normal. Wait, what's normal? When you're like, if you go back up and stuff on a hard floor like that, oh, it yes. starts to hurt a little bit. So what she's saying is that you want to be on a mat or something that's a little bit soft. So go ahead. So Mackenzie's going to do what she calls toe touches. All right. So I'm gonna get you guys a little bit close so you can see what she's actually doing. 
There she is. And she's breathing, right? Yeah. Okay, so she's doing 15 of these. So lower half is stationary. The lower half is not moving. Her control is really good. She needs to be breathing better. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Okay, what's next? After that. Yep. Whoop. Sorry, everybody. Woo. We are not professionals here. We are just doing our thing. Plank dips. Should I face like this? Uh, yeah. Okay. So it's basically a regular plank and then you just dip on one side each like that okay i'll turn on the side so they can actually see it yeah. and slow it down a little bit there's no reason to go fast okay is that good that's good i think that the little the little kids are going to have a hard time with that one so go ahead and step off for just a minute so um with the plank, or really they're called hip dips. I'm gonna move a little bit so you can see. Um, it's not really a twist because that's a lot of pressure and work on the low back. So you wanna just kinda dip, hold, come back through center, dip, hold, back through center. So this one I would say probably not for the little ones, so just have them maybe hold a plank, all right? And 15 is kind of a random number for this, so let's just say 12 so that you're getting about six dips per side, okay? And you gotta breathe. I'm gonna go one more each way and then I'll bring Ken's back on camera, okay? And what's your next? Next thing is plank walk-ups. So it's like this. Ah! <laughs> and then you just walk up on your upper part of your body and then you walk down. Let me do this 15 times. Okay, keep going. So she's going from forearms to hand plank for those of you that are watching. Try not to rock the body at all. You want to be very still. <laughs> okay. And look a little forward so you're not cranking in the neck. Was that 15? Okay, and then you're going to finish with plank hold. Yeah. So we're actually going to go through that just one more time just so that you guys can see. Um, and hopefully you're still with us at home, so don't give up just yet. Um, okay, so the first thing we got are our boat rows. Um, I'm going to put you back over here so you guys can see what's going on. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so our boat... Row your boats. So this is kind of like a yoga thing. Um, but, but yeah, kind of. So uh, Navasana or boat pose is here. So the only thing that we're adding is a, a like a lean back. So, oh wait, that's the wrong. Yeah, wait, what did you do? I go like this. Okay, so she's kind of tucking in. All right, here we go. Two, three, four. Crunching the abs, breathe. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15. Let's hold this one out. Hold it out. Lift the arms up and overhead. Lift the top of your chest. Hug the belly up and in. Breathe. One, two, and three. Cross the right leg over the left. Lean over the shin bones. Just come out of the back for just a moment. So I oftentimes tell my students that if you feel pain somewhere, you want to honor that in your body. So if you're feeling pain in the low back when you're doing abdominal work, uh, that means that your abs are not very strong and you want to tailor what you're doing to accommodate that, uh, that imbalance. So if this one was a little bit rough for you, the next time I would say keep your heels down, lean back, lift back up. So you're at least a little bit more stable and structured through the lower half. Next thing is our toe touches. So I didn't get to do this last time. I'm going to do it with Mackenzie. Okay. Legs are going straight up, right? Yeah. Oh, here, you want that? Here. Okay. Can't be like mommy dearest here. Got to look out for my child. Okay. Okay. So legs are going straight up. I'm going to turn a little bit on the side so you can see her from her view and me from mine. Low half does not move. And here we go. Up. Two, three, you could use a weight here if you wanted Five, to. Six, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's add on, bend your knees, hands at your 
temples. Give me seven bicycles each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Breathe. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Take a moment. We've got our plank up, up, down, down. Next. And then just a regular plank hold. You ready? All right, flip it on over, friends. Okay, option to be on the knees for the little ones. Grown-ups, you have to be on your toes because we're not wussies. Just kidding. If you have to be on your knees, be on your knees. That's fine. Okay, go ahead. So we're going to start hands. So it starts in regular plank. The one thing that I will say since I can't see you guys at home is make sure that you're not rocking your whole body. That really defeats the whole purpose, right? So you want to really lock and load in the belly, come down slowly to the forearm, back up to the hand. There is definitely going to be some rocking, but you want to limit how much you're doing that so we're not uh, yeah. jarring the joints here. I don't think I want to do this one. Are you serious? No, I'm just kidding. Let's go. Okay, okay here we go. All right, down. So we start a regular plank. Here we go. Down, down, up, up, down, down, down up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. This is six. Down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up. I'm at ten. What do you got? Eleven. Eleven. Yeah. All right. 12. Oh my gosh, I'm getting tired. 13. This is 13 here. 14. Well, say 14 when you come up. That's 14. No, this is this is 15. Okay. 15. Knees drop. Go ahead and send your booty back to your heels. Take a child's pose here. Just rest. Big breath in. Big breath out. Good. Do one more. All right. So we've got uh, plank dips and plank hold and then we're going to do some tabatas. I just need to get my I just need to get my timer. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to let Mackenzie take you through the plank dips. I'll be right back. Okay. So, when you do your plank dips, you're going to go into regular plank like this like we just did and then you're going to dip to one side and the other and 12 times like she said and you're just dipping like our regular Plank, but then just dipping on either side. Hi, Billy. Hi. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. And then what? And then just a regular plank hold, right? Yes. Okay, let's do it. We're going to do that for a total of 30 seconds. We'll start with 30, and then we're going to bump it up each time. We're going to do three rounds of this, okay? How many times um, are going to bump it up by each? Well. And bump it up like 15 seconds? We'll see. Okay, here we go. Let's drop it into a plank. We're going to hold round one for 30 seconds. Ah, oh, rats. I do four on four of them. You can do forearms. She'll do forearm plank. I'll do regular plank. Feel free to drop to the knees if need be. All right, here we go. 30 seconds on. You're cheating. You didn't go. All right, listen up. In your plank, you want to think about what's happening in the shoulder girdle. So float the armpits away from the floor. Spread your fingers wide. If you are on a regular plank, pull your belly in. Lift up a little bit. You're still going. you got nine seconds, nine seconds. In through the nose, breathing out through the mouth will help. I count to and I go one, two. Drop three. down. Okay. All right, so next one we'll do 40 seconds. We're going to take about a 20 second break. And then we'll get back to it. So remember to modify if need be. You can be on the knees, you can be on the forearms. I'm going to be on regular high plank just because that is how I roll. We got three, two, and one. So push down into your forearms, lift up away from the floor. So you got to pull this up and in, pull this up, pull this up. Good. Push your heels back. Yes. Good. Push into my hand right here. Yes. Good. Breathe. Pull this up. No sagging. No sagging. 
We got about 20 more seconds. You good? No? Breathe. She wanted to add 15 seconds. We're just adding 10. You got about six seconds to go. Breathing helps and drop. Go ahead and take a child's pose. We'll do one more. We'll keep it at 20 seconds. We're going to take a 20 second break and then we're going to move on to some Tabatas. <coughs> Tabatas are uh, designed to be short, sweet, and intense. Typically don't last more than four minutes. All right, here we go. Ready? Four minutes at a time. We're going to do two sets today <coughs> and then I'll cool you guys down. So like I said, maybe about a 20 minute video all together. Just enough to kind of get you moving. You got, we're good. We got time. So when you're in your plank, really think about how you can lift away from the floor. For those of you that do yoga, think about arching the upper back a little bit like you would in an angry cat. So separating the shoulder blades a little, I don't want to say quasimodo, keep going, keep going. We're not there. We're only at 30 seconds. Not even. I like to spin the inner elbow forward. It feels better on my shoulder. We've got 10 more seconds, guys. 10 seconds, and then we're going to move into our Tabatas. Breathe. Three, two, one. <laughs> so planks are really, um, planks are sort of like those exercises that kind of drive me crazy um, because they are done improperly quite a bit. Not improperly, but in a way that may not be the smartest. So I don't know, you guys can't really see Ken's, um, and it is for the little ones, it really is just trying to get them to move their bodies, but for the grown-ups, you guys need to be a little bit more on point with your form. So if you find, so in her forearm plank, when you get tired, fatigued, the hips and the belly start to drop down and lower. So that's when you have to either push into your hands or your forearms to pick up that midsection. This is for you. Okay, because you were like doing this banana boat thing. You banana boat, you're going to put all that pressure on the low back. So you really want to think about rebounding away from the floor. Okay, okay, move that out of the way. All right, so we are going to hit our, our Tabatas. Let me see. Chris, seriously, uh, I love you too, Katie. You ready to work, girl? Okay, so for those of you that have never done Tabatas before, it is 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of recovery. We're gonna do it uh, a few rounds, right? So it'll be four, I'm gonna readjust. So I have this little timer here. This was bought before the uh, interwebs developed such wonderful tools like Tabata timer apps. So I had bought this back then, which is then now working out because I can't use the Tabata timer and video at the same time. So we'll do this. So our first round of our Tabatas, we are going to do uh, just very easy, we're gonna do some mountain climbers. You'll take a 10 second break, then we'll do push-ups, okay? So just two planky type movements. So although we were just on the floor, we are gonna do something different. Okay. In your push-ups, your hands are gonna be just outside the shoulders, a little bit wider. You wanna think about a tricep push-up position, here is why. It, re it uses more of the tricep muscle, but for those of you that yoga, you want to do things that are going to make your yoga better, so why not practice your chaturangas when you're doing your push-ups? Okay, here uh, we go. Are you ready? First one is going to be mountain climbers, then your break, then your push-ups. We will repeat that process four rounds total for eight. You going to do it with me? Uh, yes. Okay. Somebody's got to be in charge here, though, and it's not you. Okay. All right, so we're doing mountain climbers, 20 seconds. Ready? Three. Two, one, here we go. All right, so in your mountain climbers, hug the belly in, shift your body weight a little bit forward into the palms of your hands. That'll take pressure off your wrist. We've got about 10 seconds to go. If you can speed it up, increase that speed just a little bit. Quick, 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 quick. Hot lava, hot lava, hot lava, and rest. 10 seconds. Now, after your 10 seconds, you've got 20 seconds of uh, push-ups, so I wanna encourage you to count. Get down. Here we go, here we go. How many do you get done? Okay, and you're gonna try and match that every time. Six, seven, eight, 
Don't ever, ever give up. Modify, but don't give up. You've got 20 seconds, that's it. That's not a lot of time. So in your 20 seconds, push, 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 because you get a break. Here we go, climb, run, 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 run. Go, 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 go. Belly strong, knees to the elbows as close as you can get them up there. Light on your toes, shift the body forward, breathe. 10 seconds. Those shoes probably are not the best. Three, two, one, quick recovery. Push-ups are next. I'm gonna say most of you are gonna probably wanna to drop to the knees, no shame. I'm dropping to my knees, shoulder injury. Here we go, go. Just try to get in the same amount that you did for the round, the first round. Push hard into your thumbs. That'll help keep your hands wide. Three seconds. Pull back, you're halfway there, friends, halfway there. We have one more round of Tabatas after this set is finished. Okay, go, run, mountain climb. Light on your feet, use your belly. Pull your knees in. We should change places. You need some different shoes. Go, quicker, quicker, five seconds. Quick, quick, go, 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 go. Seriously. Go, drop. Yeah. Don't waste no time. We're gonna switch spots. I think she's struggling with our mats here. Okay, ready, and go. Go all the way down. All the way down, ladies. Boobs to floor. I didn't have those. I have to go all the way down. Yep. Now, oh, if you don't have boobs, they don't have to touch the floor. Uh, uh, woo. Okay, break. One more round of both. One more round of Tabatas after this is over. You don't have time to drink. You'll, get, you'll drink in a second. Ready? Go. Your one foot is like turning in. It's because I hurt my ankle earlier. Oh, well, why didn't you say that? Because it doesn't hurt. Oh. Quicker! She's cheating. No, I'm not. <laughs> That's not it. We're not done. We got one more. We got our push ups. Right? Are we done? Then maybe yet? No, we have push ups. And go. Last one. Last one. Breathe. Breathing out of the mouth will help take some of the pain off. <laughs> Five seconds. Oh, that's it. Take a break. Take a break. My friends, one more round of Tabatas. We're going to do this one for the kids. So we are going to do burpees because everybody loves a good burpee. And we're going to do frog jumps. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what a frog jump is, and I'll show you what a burpee is while you guys are catching your breath while well this thing stop beeping. So a frog jump, you're gonna have your feet wider than your hips, toes are gonna be turned out a little bit. My people that do not wanna jump, you're just gonna tap down, tap up, okay? Easy option. Those of you that want something a little bit harder, you're just gonna tap down and jump like a frog, okay? So that will be your first round. Then you get your 10 second recovery. Then we come back with our Tabatas. This round will be burpees. Do you want to show? You can. No, you can. Yeah. They, they like you better. Yeah. Level one burpee. This is for all my little people, grown ups that have injuries, and people that just don't want to do a damn burpee. So hands come to the ground. You step back into your plank, then you step your feet into your hands and simply stand. I'll do it again. So you step back, step in, stand up. Second option, which is probably the most common, which is I think how she does her burpees, is to jump back to a plank. I don't love this uh, because you have to have a lot of core control. So there's only four parts of your body that are not in the core, and that's these and these, okay? So everything here, is your core, which means it has to be engaged in order for you to jump your legs back successfully and safely. So what I mean by that is a lot of times when I do these in classes, people will jump back into a really heavy work. Uh, it's crazy. So you wanna make sure that you're engaging here in that midsection, hands down, 
hop back lightly. So there is no sound when you jump back. Your feet don't make a sound, and then you can jump up that way. I'm gonna do the traditional burpee where it's more like a floppy. You come all the way down, come all the way up. When you're coming down into this uh, belly on the ground, it's not a push up, it's more just like a controlled descent down, okay? We're gonna get this party started. Quick cool down when we're done. And then you guys can go back to your life. What's up, Amadou? Come hang out with me. Come hang out with me. Okay, here we go, ready? So the first one, frog jumps. You good? Sure. Okay, Mackenzie's gonna have modification for first round. Here we go, ready in three, two, one, let's go. So I've got the harder part, the version. And really, even a jump squat would be fine. So if your little ones wanna just like turn into little Mexican jumping beans, <laughs> is that racist? <laughs> well, hopefully it's not racist, I didn't offend anybody. But if they wanna jump around, they can just jump. All right, so now we're doing burpees next. Five is your goal, my friends, five. Okay. okay. Um, go, go, go. No push up, no push up, you just jump back to plank. Now jump up, yep. Woo! That's six for me. That's it, that's it, break. Frog jumps, option. If you want no jumping, hold a Hindi squat, okay? Or a wall squat. All right, here we go, jump. Jump. Make sure you drive those knees out. Land light, point your toes as you jump. God, I hope you guys are doing this with us because I feel really dumb if you're just watching. Oh God, oh God. All right, Break burpees. Sweat. No sweat, but God, I'm dying. Two seconds, modification burpee, here we go. I'm gonna be an old lady, doing my old lady burpee. But watch how fast I can do it. It's still hard, but it's just different kind of hard. I can still do six. We are live. There we are live. 10 seconds. We're back to our froggy jumps. Don't mind the husband. All right, here we go. Okay, so Ken's has got the lower impact option. She's not jumping, I am. <sighs> Don't mind the husband. <laughs> it's a family affair. <sighs> family affair. Okay, walk it off. I can't feel my legs. All right, I'm gonna take the modification burpee. I'm gonna go floppy burpee. Ready, steady, go. <sighs> It's okay to jump back and forth between modifications and advanced movements, right? Yeah. I am not the kind of trainer, teacher, or even gym person that believes that just because it's hard, it's good. If you feel like you're a vomit after class, you need to check yourself. Before you There's no reason for that. <laughs> All right, frog jumps. Here we go, I believe this is our last, last round. Woo! God, I wish we had some music. Right? We got music playing in my head. Oh, my quads. My quads are so tired. Woo! One last round of burpees. Kill it. Go hard, go strong. Hit it. Last one, last one. 20 seconds of your life is all you need right now. Four. I'm gonna go for seven. Six and a half. Woo, child. Walk, walk it off. Catch your breath. Don't stop movement. That's our sign. It's done. We've lost all our people. 
Was it too hard? Not hard enough. Why are you standing right in front of me? That's the alarm. Hard stuff is over. Okay, just take a moment. We're going to move through just a subtle uh, variation on the sun salutation. Inhale, nice big breath up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Why are you not doing this? Inhale up. Exhale down. Come right here. Two more. Good. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hug. Hold here for just a moment. Take a second to press your thumbs into your heart. Feel it beating. Know you're alive and it is all good. We exercised. We're breathing. We're healthy. Balance. All right, one more time. Big breath up and in. This time you're going to exhale and forward fold. Glide your fingertips to the shins. You're going to come up just about halfway. We're going to pause here for a moment. Stay where you are. Make sure that the body shifts forward. Stay where you are. Facing the front. You want to have your weight out of your heels onto the balls of the feet. You will feel a better hamstring stretch if you do that. And then a little bend in the knees. Walk your hands to the hips. Rise all the way up to stand. You'll step onto the right foot. Grab the left. Little quad stretch. Arm out, you can hold on to something if you need to. Try to bring your inner thighs together, press the quad forward, big breath up. <sighs> One more. You're gonna release that left ankle across the right thigh. Fist to palm, sit down into your chair. Okay, you got a figure four shape happening here. That left glute should be getting a lovely stretch. The right leg should be getting a little bit of work. See if you can drop in a little more. Pick your toes up on that bottom right foot. <sighs> Hopefully breathing is normalizing. Go ahead and rise up. You're gonna step into that left leg. Catch the right shoelaces. You don't have to wear it's shoes for what we did today, but it's okay. High five. High five, more dead than alive. Push your thigh forward, big breath in. Big breath back out. You're going to release that right ankle over the left thigh. Have a seat. Tell us what you want to see, what equipment you have at home, how we can incorporate that into some of these workouts. Um, I can't say right now what time we'll be going live each day, but I would like to post something every afternoon or at least every other for you and your people to stay active. So if you've got stuff that you can work with, medicine balls, kettlebells, dumbbells, anything that you can use, um, and maybe yeah. something for the kids too, like we could do some stuff with dumbbells and have the kids use that, like canned beans or peas or something like that. That's what I used to use when I was little and working out at home. I would just use little cans. Then I graduated to gallon milk jugs, um, which I don't know if people drink milk anymore. <laughs> but anyway, so just hit us up. Let us know what you want to see, what you like, what you don't like. And listen, stay positive. Don't be weird. It's all going to work out. Promise. Well, you know, hopefully. Just kidding. Good night. Love you. <laughs>